Hello, this is Bob. I am a solution architect with X-Rite. In this video, I would like to take a look at Adobe Illustrator along with the Pantone Live plugin. Specifically, a couple of features that are critical for your workflow. To begin, I've opened a job that uses a number of Pantone spot colors. What I'd like to do first is verify that all of my Pantone Live dependent libraries are current. To do so, I'm going to bring my cursor up to Illustrator. I come down to Preferences and then go to Pantone Live and finally Pantone Live Connection. This opens up a window that validates my connection to Pantone Live is active as evidenced by the green dot. The second green dot indicates that all of my palettes are up to date. If this dot were yellow, we would want to resynchronize them. Because everything is fine, I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel. The next thing that I want to do is to switch out a couple of these colors. And I'm going to work on these two labels on the left hand side. These are built using Pantone master library colors. What we want to do is switch these out with dependent library colors. The reason for the Pantone dependent libraries are that the dependent libraries represent a specific printing process, a specific ink condition, and a specific substrate. By using these dependent libraries, we'll get a much more accurate look at how the final product is going to appear. So to switch these colors out, I'm going to go up to Window, and then Pantone Live. I go to Color Book, and then to Replace Color. The window that opens shows me all of the colors in this job. I'm going to focus specifically on Pantone 381C, which is the light green in this upper label, and Pantone 581C, which is the darker olive colored green in this lower label. So let's begin by switching out the 381C. In this drop down list at the top of the window, I'm going to choose Color from Library. This opens up our dependent libraries, and this second drop-down list allows us to choose from any of the dependent libraries that we have downloaded. In this case, I've downloaded two, a virgin carton board and a Flexo water-based ink craft paper library. Let's use that one today. So to switch out the 381C, I'm going to highlight it here in the left-hand column and then I'm going to search for this color. And there it is. So I click that to choose it. And then in the lower left hand corner, I choose replace color. Now we're going to change the 581C. So I'll select that. I then search for 581C. There we have it. And I choose replace. Now I'm going to go ahead and click done at this window. And when I click done, I don't know if you noticed that, but the colors changed. What I can do is I can come up here to edit and I can undo and redo this. So watch these two green colors as I click undo. Okay, you should have just seen them appear a little bit lighter. Let me redo that. And there we go. So these are these two labels with the dependent library colors in place. And again, the advantage of this is this gives us a much more accurate rendition of what these colors will look like when they're actually printed using the printing process, substrate, and ink of our dependent library. However, there's one more step that we should take because Adobe Illustrator while very good at displaying RGB and CMYK colors is not necessarily the best at displaying spot colors. Therefore, 
we've also included a viewer. So to use the viewer, what I'm going to do is go up to Window, Pantone Live, Viewer, and then I'm going to choose Generate. And that will generate a view of these two labels, or the entire file, I should say. All right, let me slide this over. And you can see that indeed these two colors do look different in the viewer. Let me open this up a bit. So the view on the left here is the view right out of Illustrator. The view on the right is the view using the viewer. And specifically, if you look at this area in the light green label, we can clearly see a difference and the view from this viewer is the more accurate view. So there we have it. This is how we swap out colors from standard Pantone master libraries to a Pantone dependent library. Making use of these features will give you a much more accurate preview of your colors and allow your designers to understand how these colors will reproduce when they do go to press. Hopefully you found this video very useful. I would certainly encourage you to view the other videos we have in our packaging workflow, specifically for ColorCert and IFS. You will also find contact information at the end of this video. Thank you.